Well, it has been 21 years since the attacks on September 11th, the deadliest on U.S. soil. Nearly 3,000 men, women and children killed that day after hijacked airplanes slammed into the World Trade Center's Twin Towers and the Pentagon. Today across the country, like they do every year on this day, Americans honoring those lost. ABC's Alex Perche with their stories. Keith A. Broomfield. Bernard C. Brown II. The ceremonial reading of the names of the nearly 3,000 victims at the World Trade Center on the 21st anniversary of 9-11, the worst attack on American soil. Diane Massaroli lost her husband Michael that day. He was working in the North Tower. It's just always you know, an anxious day and, and after the day's over when I go home then you're just like physically exhausted like you ran a marathon. But yeah, no, never, never has changed at all. I thought, you know, maybe it would get less. The people said that never. It's exactly the same. Sam Polia's cousin, Thomas, was a New York City firefighter. I, I don't think the, uh, the images ever dissipate of, of what we saw um, and what everybody saw. At the Pentagon, where 184 people died, President Biden attending a reflaying ceremony and paying tribute. So many heroes were made here. So many of your loved ones were those heroes. At the United Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, First Lady Jill Biden marking the moment where a group of heroes brought down a plane headed for the U.S. Capitol. Her sister Bonnie was a flight attendant for United Airlines and she feared for her safety that day. As we learned more about that dark day, she felt pride for what happened here, that it was her fellow flight attendants and the passengers of United Flight 93, who helped stop the plane from taking an untold number of lives in our nation's capital. Alex Perche, ABC News, Los Angeles. Here in Iowa, first responders in Story County honored the men and women who lost their lives inside the World Trade Center with a memorial stair climb. Tonight at 10, we'll tell you more about that annual tradition.